Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is a guide to Darkshade Caverns 1 on Veteran Difficulty from the Elder Scrolls Online. This is a fairly straightforward dungeon, so it's a good one to run if you're new to veteran content. There are no difficult trash groups here, so I'll just cover the bosses. The first boss is Head Shepherd Naloran. She's flanked by two adds that can be taken down fairly quickly. She often raises her staff and puts rings of fire on the ground, but they are easy to see and stay out of. She sometimes heals herself, but it's interruptible, so if you're playing melee, make sure you bash her. She also casts Heat Wave, which makes a line of fire, but this is interruptible as well. The second boss is Foreman Lothan. The tank should maintain aggro as usual, but note that he fights ranged, so you can't control his position. He'll target players and throw poison at them, which will linger on the ground for a time. Just step out of it. He also casts Diversion, which will display a red expanding circle centered on himself. Roll out of this one ASAP, because it can be a one-shot for some players. He always runs to a new position after casting this one. He also summons some minor Kwama adds throughout the fight. The tank doesn't necessarily need to pick them all up, but just be aware if someone is being swarmed by them, and you may need to taunt some off. DPS should burn the adds quickly as to not get overwhelmed. The third boss is the Hive Lord. The tank needs to face him away from the group because he does large frontal AoE attacks that are difficult to dodge. The tank should block these attacks. He also pounces players that are too far away, which stuns them, so everyone should stay fairly close. Occasionally, the Hive Lord will do a very large circular AoE attack, but this can be interrupted. If not interrupted, it lasts a long time. The fourth boss is Cavern Patriarch, but he doesn't do much. He has a heavy attack that the tank needs to block or else he'll get knocked down. He also spawns large poison clouds on the floor, often near himself. Just reposition outside the cloud. The fifth boss is Cutting Sphere. He is almost always skipped because he spawns right here away from the path most people take. If you do fight him though, he's not so bad. He has a heavy attack the tank will have to watch for and block. He also does some AoE damage and most players should roll out of the red circle, but the tank can block this just fine. He also has an ability where he chases the tank in a spinning frenzy. The damage is light enough for the tank to stand and block though, so it's not necessary to kite him around. The final boss is Sentinel of Kurgams. He changes colors and has different attacks based on these colors. When he's green, the tank should face him away from the group since he does frontal conal attacks. He does a heavy attack that the tank should watch for and block. He will also summon spiders that offer AoE heals to the boss, but the tank can simply keep the boss away from them. When the boss is blue, he will sit still and blast lightning AoEs all over the place. At this time, it's hard to get much damage on him, but do what you can and endure until he changes colors. With red, he will spin endlessly and chase one random player. That player can just kite him around, avoiding the healing circles that spiders may have left behind, and everyone else can deal ranged damage. In hard mode, there are no extra mechanics. The boss just deals more damage and has more health. And that's it for Veteran Darkshade Caverns 1. Have fun, good luck, and see you next time.